Fuck yeah. Oh, that's the bloke. <laughs> I'm getting married with her. Nice R6. So, it's going to roll up here next to my big ass truck. The whole point of the Troopy Tribute is because I'm feeling a little bit guilty. Look at it. It's dirty. It's been sitting here, neglected. Not unloved, but neglected for sure. She needs a good clean. I'll get onto that very soon. I do love her. Showed me a very wonderful time cruising around this awesome country for about two and a half years. Uh, the Troopy Brotherhood. I remember oh, one of my one of the best shout outs I ever got. It was, I'll, I'll take that. I did, I got it. It was I was in the middle of South Australia looking for a campsite. Just cruising through I think it was Canalda. The real small little grain town, like wheat area. And um, it was I don't know, four in the afternoon, it was time to pull up, well and truly time to pull up. And as I'm cruising through uh, down from a T intersection, I'm on the main road across to the west, and this old bloke is coming in from the right. He's in a troopy, and uh, <laughs> he comes around the corner. We pass each other, and he's like, "Yeah, troopy!" <laughs> he must have been 70, but he loves to get out and about as well. Yeah. Fucking funny. Normally get a wave. Everyone's got their own little thing. Met some really cool people, other travellers, and it doesn't matter what you're, what you're in or on. If you're out and about and getting amongst it, it's uh, thumbs up in my book. They're very, they're vastly different machines. The, the Troopy and the Honda CB here, 400, and the similarity in them though is the freedom that they give you without question like as big a difference they are like the engine displacement the size the sheer weight where they can take you um uh, sorry phone just went off um unequaled well maybe if i had my pilot's license i'd think differently i would like to learn how to fly a chopper but I'll just keep it on terra firma. I do have my boat license though, and they're, they're pretty good. But there's something about those two, you know, the, the troopy and, and this little guy. Even the Sufat that I had in, in Vietnam. God, I wish I had. God, I wish I had the Contour or the GoPro. Cheers, boys. And the other thing I'd like to say about my Troopy, I think it's helped with um, my ability to ride, I think, in terms of when you're out in the bush, there's a, there's a lot of stuff you've got to be watching out for. Um, I know, I mean, it's not always traffic. You Low branches, like the Troopy's quite tall, especially when I've got all the kit on the top. Um, loose stones, the bigger stones, the shape, the wheel track, and fucking kangaroos and emus and camels even, donkeys, goats and pigs, you know, all of it can just blast through any given moment when you're out there and so you're always you're always cruising the horizon, you know, like just 
making sure you've got your bases covered, come back to your cluster, your instrument cluster, and then up, look again. So I think that's um, that's helped for, for this, like in terms of being able to analyze and react to road conditions as quickly as possible. A good school, good, good teacher there, old Halcyon. I gave it that name, it's a Greek, of Greek origin, Halcyon, it means golden era, golden age. And at the time, when I got it, things were just lining up just right, like finding the truck, getting it sorted, meeting the guys at opposite lock. But yeah, well, that'll do about the, the troopy love. Now I've got to go and actually give it some love. Thank you.